feel like I have so much to do in like an hour and 20 minutes that I'm not going to be able to do all of that. I need to go get gas. I need to go to Target. I want to go get coffee. It's just a lot in a matter of an hour. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, today, honestly, yesterday and today have not been my days. I have been just slammed with so many things. I think that when school starts, that's when I get into like my most stressful time of life. I, I don't know, the first few weeks of school kill me. I think because I'm so used to not having that much stuff to do, and then all of a sudden you have like so many things to be done, and it just overwhelms me a little bit. So. Basically yesterday, I was already stressed about having to go to the counselor for like the 11th time this semester. People just can't get things right. And I was already like so stressed about that, that I thought, um, um that I was like, um, what was I saying? I got, I get this call, right? Um, and it. I'm at work, but I, I get this call it's from work. And I'm thinking, okay, like, I'm here, you know, working, like, what the fuck? And so I answer the call and it's like, HR like, wants to have a meeting with me because my hours increased and I need, like, stuff. It's like a benefit thing. Um, and I didn't want to go because they wanted to do, have it today, which was the next day. And I freaking, I, well, I didn't lie. I didn't lie to them. I just said, like, oh, you know, we're having minimum days, so I'm not able to go. And, I mean, it's true. We are having minimum days. Um, and they're like, okay, yeah, that's fine. Just coming in at 11. And I'm thinking, okay, well, I can't change the time now because I already told them we have minimum days. But my minimum days don't really start till 1. But I told them 12 because I didn't want to go in. I thought they wouldn't, they wouldn't have me any earlier. I thought, okay, like, I'm fine. They're not going to not gonna want they're not gonna want me to go at 11 I, I never thought they were gonna be like yeah it's coming in at 11 and I, I literally was like fuck my life I literally have the worst luck I was like this is bullshit like I don't want to go I have so much shit to do already like but whatever I ended up going and it was actually a very good meeting and it was very beneficial to me <laughs> Um, funny how like a benefits meeting was very beneficial. This shit moves all the time, like fucking drives me nuts. Um, so did that. And now I'm gonna go get coffee and then hit Target, and then I think after I'm gonna if I have time I'm gonna go get gas because I only get gas at Costco, you guys, because it's what am I doing? I'm like fucking it just I'm a fucking idiot. I'm a fucking idiot. Um. I only get gas at Costco because it's cheap and it's it lasts so long on me. Like I can go what the fuck? I can go oh they're honking over there. I can go like six days without having to put gas and I drive a ton you guys like I li I was telling my mom the other day. I don't know why I'm whispering, but I honestly live in my car more than I live in my house. Like I'll spend hours in here sometimes because because of work, honestly, um, and school, like, sometimes I just rather sit in the car and wait for half an hour than go home and be miserable because then I don't want to leave, you know? The other day, I, I was in the car and I was going home and it was, like, 9 in the morning and I didn't have class till 10. So I was like, okay, like, you know, I, I'll go home and then I'll leave, like, around 9.45. And school is kind of close to me, so I don't have to be, like, super early. So I'm like, okay, a 15 minute drive, like, yeah, that sounds fine. So I like fucking go home and I, um, this like guy is like staring at me. It's funny. Um, I went home and I really, I literally like, no joke. I just like crashed in my bed and I fell asleep like immediately, immediately. The moment my head touched my pillow, it w I was a goner, you guys. Like, I, I was I was gone. Like, I was into this very, like, deep sleep. And then I always have an alarm, like, no matter what. Because I know that sometimes I'll fall asleep like that. And 
mostly because I'm tired. You know, I wake up so early. So, um, I'll have, like, I'll have an alarm on my phone just in case. And, and to remind myself that I have to leave the house at a certain time. And, um, it, it, it rang or it, it, like, whatever it did. And, um, I was asleep. It scared the shit out of me. And I was, like, so pissed that I had to go to class. Like, I was this close to not going. But then I paid this program so that I can, like, like, the class will just go by faster. And it was, like, a fucking $100. Um, and I was, like, I just paid this amount of money. Like, I better be in this class every fucking day of my life, you know. Or, like, every day that I have to be there. So, that's the only reason I went. You know, money called me. So, I went. But, yeah. That, that's how bad I am, you guys, when I fall asleep. Like, so, sometimes I just rather just stay in my car and not fall asleep, you know, because... For me to get up from being asleep, it, it takes so much. Like, I'm a different person in the morning or when I wake up. I no, Nothing matters, you guys. Nothing. Just sleep. So I can't fall asleep. Uh, that was a random, random rant on falling asleep. <sighs> so tomorrow is Friday. Today's Thursday, you guys. And there's no school tomorrow. Well, for for my job I have class like you know I have to go to class but I don't have work because you know there's no school tomorrow for the kids so I don't have to come to work but you know what they do you know when there's when you get you know this random day off during the month and it feels so amazing when you hear about it and then of course a week before they tell us like oh psych we have a meeting a five hour long meeting Okay, you guys, so I am on fucking a fire right now. Like, so proud of myself. I started vlogging with you guys when I told you guys, like, I had so much stuff to do. It was, like, around 11.40. I'm, oh, my God, you guys, like, no joke. I went to Target. Was in Target for maximum five minutes. Grabbed my shit left i've never been able to do that um went to starbucks that probably took the longest got my starbucks rushed myself to the dollar to the dollar store um was there for like probably no more than 10 minutes and let me just clarify that me in the dollar store looking for shit that i like or that i'm pleased with for like the kids and stuff um takes me a good 30 minutes was there for less than 10 got out um what else did i do i left oh now on my way to get gas and i have half an hour left you know um what can i say you guys like i'm fast and furious over here like going everywhere so fast that you guys are about to fall you guys so i went to my job meeting the one i didn't want to go to and oh, my phone is so fucking annoying sometimes honestly me coming here was so great and beneficial i like met my future husband like you know i'm like gonna get engaged anytime soon so cute so so cute so he was like so tall he was like mixed Ugh. gorgeous 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 you guys like huh. i met my future husband okay let me put the i'm going to go eat with my co-workers now i didn't really want to go because i have a lot of things to do today but i felt kind of bad so i'll just go i guess because you know i'm like a great person I don't even know where this place is. I'm not from this area, so. I don't know you guys. Like, I don't know where these places they're trying to take me are at. Oh, no, that's wrong. <laughs> but yeah, meeting one fine, I guess. It's fucking stupid. Like always, I feel like work meetings are d so dumb and they're for like idiots. Cause it's like common sense. Um, number 
Okay, I found it. I'm leaving now. Alright, so let's go. Let's go. Let's see if I get here. Oh, it's nine minutes away. It's not bad. I feel like I look so orange in this lighting. But I don't look orange, you guys. I am bronzed up. I did sort of a more bronzy um, makeup look today. Where am I? That's the question. Please proceed to the highlighted road. Please proceed to the highlighted road. I don't even, honestly, you guys, though. Please turn right in 400 feet onto B Street. Honestly, you guys, though, I don't fucking trust my navigation. Now, like, turn right. At all. Like, I just don't trust it. It always... Makes me go other places where I don't belong. Like. So, I had like the worst start of the day possible. I was so late to wreck you guys today. <sighs> yeah, I was really late. Um, I don't even know why. Well, I mean, I do know why. Um, I like, woke up at the same time I always wake up left my house probably five minutes late than I usually leave the house, like five minutes after what I usually, you know, leave the house. But I mean, that's not such a big deal. I mean, it's only five minutes, right? No, it, it is a fucking big ass fucking deal because there was so much traffic, you know, traffic lately has really been just screwing me with me. It is so annoying. So, guess what happened? I I go to class, right? Pay for my parking because I haven't I haven't gotten my pass yet, like I told you guys, because I'm lazy. So I go in, and the class is like legit empty. Like, to turn it off. I'm like, okay, like you know, maybe it's early, but it really wasn't. But I was thinking, like. So I was like on my phone trying to go to my uh, school email to see if they sent like a message or anything. No, nothing. And this girl comes over and then she's like, oh, you have this class too? And I'm like, yeah. She's like, the, I think the teacher's absent. I'm like, really? And then I look in. Yeah, there's like a fucking huge sign. But I didn't actually go into the room. It said that she was absent. And I was like, great, you know? No email, nothing. Just kind of like, let me be absent. Um, it was a little bit of annoying, but then it was good too because I was really tired. So I went home and I slept a little bit. And right now, this is why I sound like that because I took a nap. And honestly, like shit. Naps are the best thing ever invented. They're, they're the best and the and the worst. You know, they're amazing. They feel better than going to sleep for eight hours. Snaps are just beautiful. But they're like a pain in the ass to wake up from. <laughs> really. So I didn't want to wake up to come back to work. But anyways, um, I'm so sleepy so I'm going to Starbucks. See if I can feel better after having a little bit of Starbucks. And then, um, I don't know about you guys, but I think it's Chinese New Year, or it was last night. Well, it is today, like the first of the year for them. They've been um, playing with fireworks all freaking night. They sound like explosions, and then a, a car alarm start going off. I don't know why they love them. funny thing is like they won't say anything about that but on 4th of July it's like illegal to do it but in Chinese New Year it's acceptable or are they doing it illegally? I don't know I 
wonder all these things, you know, in my head when I'm trying to sleep. And the dog hears alarms going off and like freaking. It's annoying. It's so annoying. Hi, can I get an ice venti non fat caramel latte? Alright, anything else you want to try? No, that'll be all. That'll be $4.95. Okay, thank you. <sighs> Made it to Starbucks, you guys. <sighs> so I'm like pissed again. I I'm sorry, I'm always pissed. Um, I come in to work to like our parking space and again I guess my boss I don't know who the fuck does this will put cones in the parking spaces so it looks like um so it looks like there's a parking available but then when you pull up to it there's like cones that should be illegal to oh, it's so stupid I don't know why they do that it's really actually starting to piss me off and I'm about to say something because it's just unacceptable to me. It's so stupid. And now I'm like parked in this freaking random parking lot hoping that in the next five minutes something, someone leaves and a space is like available so that I can pull up to it. Because there's no parking in the street. on Saturday so basically there's this Starbucks that I like to go but I am not able to go often because first of all it's like always packed the drive through is like so packed so it's really hard to get to go there when you like have to go to work and then um it's actually out of my way it's not like you know, I would have to get off the freeway and just do a lot of things to get to it. So I'd rather go to the Starbucks that's next to my job because it's just kind of like a continuous like, route to it. And over here I would have to like, it's, it's just easier. And on Saturday, I was like, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to that Starbucks because A, they make really, really good coffee. I think whoever works there makes the best coffee. I don't know. B they have like a really really cute guy working there and i like to go because of that and yeah so on saturday we go i order my shit and then um we pull up to the window we pay or whatever and we're waiting for our drinks and he's there right there's like someone someone taking the orders and three people making drinks and he was making my drink like specifically my drink and I was like so excited but I thought I was a little bit too excited because we think he noticed actually and I think he heard everything we were saying I think we were a little bit too loud so he would come up to the window and then he would it was so funny because he would smile at us and then kind of like go like that like he knew <laughs> he knew we liked him or that I liked him so it was really funny but then they like messed up on my drink because I always order non-fat and they gave me whole milk which I mean I didn't think it was that big of a difference like when I got it I was like whatever my boyfriend didn't mess up it was the um the one that like gets the orders right because he's the one that puts the sticker on the cups um which when I got it I was like okay it's whatever but I could taste it right away but I was like it's gonna be whatever actually it's not if you order the caramel latte that I order with whole milk it's gonna taste a lot more sweet and a lot more like um, not not that much to coffee to me at least it tastes more like caramel and I like the coffee taste and so in non-fat milk what it does it like it brings out the coffee taste a lot more it's a lot more stronger so I mean it's nice and now I know because I I didn't like it that much actually I didn't like it at all <laughs> I only drank it because my boyfriend did it with so much love 
Anyway, I'm gonna go now. I think this is where I'm gonna end the vlog because if I keep vlogging and I can't find parking, I'm gonna get so pissed, you guys, that you don't you don't wanna see me when I'm angry. It it's a very scary experience. So yeah, this is what I'm where I'm gonna end it. I think it's like three days worth of vlogs. Um I'm trying to like taking you guys places, but I told you guys like I'm not really comfortable vlogging in public, so I think in the car is like so much easier for me. But I'm gonna try, like I'm gonna do something. I, I wanna buy a new camera. I think that's the only solution is like getting a camera that is more like discreet so that I can vlog in public a little bit more, but I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, I'm gonna go now. Um, I'm gonna keep vlogging because I really like to vlog so um, I think every week like every Wednesday I'll have like a random vlog for you guys like a car vlog or if I you know get the courage uh, of a public vlog you know of me like going places um, that would be really fun so anyways thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys on Friday with my next video